From the 1059 Region Newsroom, the most trusted source for regional news, here's your information update. Ottawa pauses to remember Jim Flaherty. CRA extends the tax filing deadline because of the Heartbleed computer bug and cold weather delays the spring plant. Look for sunny skies today with highs of 14. For 105.9 The Region News, I'm Bob Pritchard. The flag is flying at half-mast over Parliament Hill today, and the House of Commons has become a sea of green as members remember former Conservative Finance Minister Jim Flaherty, who died suddenly yesterday of an apparent heart attack. He was 64. Flaherty had resigned from his finance portfolio less than a month ago, saying his family had urged him to step down. Prime Minister Stephen Harper has suggested that a more formal memorial for Flaherty is in the works, although no details are yet available. Flaherty's death means it won't be business as usual in the Commons today, where members of Parliament are expected to offer their tributes and condolences. Flaherty was a long-term resident of the GTA, and politicians fought back their tears while expressing their sorrow. Junior Cabinet Minister Gary Goodyear says he's heartbroken. Canada's lost one of its greatest sons. Uh, I, that's really all I can say right now. I'm very sad. Premier Kathleen Wynne spoke on behalf of the Ontario legislator where Flaherty sat as an MLA for six years. I want to express my gratitude for his service to Ontario and to Canada and to express my sorrow and sympathy to Mr. Flaherty's family, colleagues and to his many friends. Our thoughts and our prayers are with them all. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, who watched Flaherty stand up for him during one of his darkest hours, says he can never thank him enough for his friendship and loyalty. Jim will be remembered as a relentless fighter and a champion for the people. He will deeply be missed by everyone who had the good fortune of knowing him. MPs are expected to forego question period today and pay tribute to Flaherty in the House of Commons. In the aftermath of the Heartbleed computer bug, the federal government is blocking more of its public websites. The government's chief information officer says people will be unable to access certain websites until the appropriate security patches are in place and tested. The shutdown applies to all federal departments using software vulnerable to the bug, but it's not clear exactly which websites will be affected. The Canada Revenue Agency has disabled its online tax filing services, but says they'll extend the deadline appropriately when a solution is put in place. This year's long and cold winter is causing delays for farmers in the region, slowing planting activities by three weeks, but that should not affect crop yield. Farmers say they can gain that time back if we get the right weather through the balance of the summer. Seeding usually starts about May 1st, which many anticipate will be later this year, as there's still snow on the ground and the soil has yet to thaw. The low-lying areas of the Hall and Marsh are still underwater, which is normal for this time of year. The early crops, such as onions, celery, and other grains, are ready to go in the ground, with farmers waiting for dry conditions before they plant them. Markham-based Toshiba Canada, who has a more than 20-year history of environmental preservation efforts, hosted an eco-fair for employees to show their staff and other regional companies their Global Environmental Action Plan, where more than 215 company locations submitted environmentally friendly initiatives. The Eco Fair and Markham made the top 10 list and will be showing their green at the Eco Trade Show on World Environmental Day, June 5th, in Japan. Look for sunny skies and warm temperatures today with our afternoon highs getting up to about 14. We'll have all the details for you in just a moment right here on 1059 The Region.